Hello everybody, I'm Weasty, and this is a write-up for the question IZ, or maybe it's EZ, from the I-S-I-T-D-T-U-C-T-F. In my opinion, that's way too complicated of a name, but uh, it's still a pretty good CTF. So anyway, this question had 93 solves out of about 350 teams, uh, only worth 100 points, so it was a fairly simple question, but I still thought it was really interesting. Problem description is, it's just PHP, and here's a link to the question. Alright, so here we just have some PHP source code. Just going line by line, the first thing I want to do is check if we can access this config.php file, or if it's only available on the back end. And we clearly cannot access this page. So next we choose three random numbers. They're all of a very wide range, but a different range. I'm not sure why. And next we're going to URL to code the request URI. So the request URI is really just the whole address that you type into the search bar. URL to code is a method that will, as you can see on the right, replace all the percent hex encodings with their respective values. The next we parse that URL uh, with the parameter PHP URL query, which means that we're going to single out just the query part, basically everything after the question mark, which is all the name and value pairs, as you can see on the right there. Next we're gonna see if the URL, I'm using some regex, check if it has an underscore in it, if so it'll die, check if there's a zero in it, if so die, and also check if there's any series of letters or numbers, and if so die. After that we're going to check if there is a get value for an underscore, and that that get value is also not empty. And if so, we're going to check if that value is in the array containing zero and the random numbers that are chosen up here. And it has to actually be in all three of those arrays. And if so, it'll finally echo the flag. And last but not least, it'll just show the source of the file. So some things to note here. First off, we cannot actually have a get value for the underscore character because this code up here checks if we have any underscore, any zero, or any letters or numbers at all in the query. And if so, it'll die. So we can't even get to this part yet. And secondly, there's going to be almost no chance that the value of number one, number two, and number three are all the same. But luckily, all these arrays also contain zero. So if we can just get the value of underscore to equal zero, then we can easily pass all three of those parameters and get to the flag. This code is very hard to play around with because of the ambiguous error messages and the lack of logging. For that reason, I'm going to set up my own server with this code. So I'll open up a terminal and start my Apache service. Next, I'm going to create this file. I'll save it, and now let's open this file. To help with debugging, I'm going to print out the value of URL, and also change all of the dies to echoes with more specific error messages. And of course, I don't actually have this flag variable or config.php, so I'll remove those. And lastly, I don't think showing the source of the file is necessary anymore. So when I refresh the page, you can see that I don't actually have any URL because there is no query or get parameters. Even though I know it'll fail the regexes, I want to see if I was correct in thinking that the value of underscore has to be equal to zero to pass through all these parameters. But to my surprise, I don't get any messages here at all, which means that this if statement actually wasn't passed. So to inspect this, I'm going to open up my PHP interactive shell. So I know that the underscore value has to be set, which means it must be failing at this empty check. So let's try seeing if the value 0 is empty. And yes, according to PHP, the value 0 is empty. So this means we must find a value that is also equal to 0, but does not get considered empty. Well, luckily for us, PHP is a dynamically typed language, which means that there are interesting things that happen when trying to convert from strings to integers, for instance. So if we try to check if the letter A is equal to 0, well, we actually get true. And also, if we check if A is empty, it's not empty. So this means A must be the perfect value. But how on earth do we get past these regexes? How can we even set a value for underscore if that character can't even be in the URL, or in fact, any series of letters or numbers? So I started playing around with the URL to see if I can find a vulnerability. Interestingly enough, I found that anything after a pound sign does not show up in the URL. And this is because generally anything after a pound sign is used only for the client. So I wanted to see if I could put the pound sign before I set the value of underscore equal to a so that I could bypass the regexes. And well, I did bypass the regexes, but this pound sign also comments out the get variable, so there must be another way. So I looked closer at how the URL variable is generated and thought about URL encoding. Why do we URL encode anyway? Well, the main reason is so that we can take characters that generally have special characteristics such as a forward slash, a question mark, a pound sign, wink wink, and send them as a value to the server without those special characteristics modifying any values. 
well, if this server is decoding the entire URL before singling out the query, can't we just encode a pound sign at the start of the query? That way, the code thinks that the query is empty, but the get parameter can still be accessed because it ignores the encoded value. So I wrote some quick Python code to get the hex value of a pound sign. Then we can replace the pound sign with that encoding, and there we get the flag without any regex fails. So now let's try this on the server, and there's our flag. I sit DTU PHP underscore bad underscore language. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Feel free to throw in a like or subscribe if you like my video, and if not, please leave some criticism. I'd like to be able to improve and make better videos in the future.